This is a demonstration of the ozone machine. The concentration of ozone in mix depends upon the concentration of the oxygen or the flow that is coming in into the machine. The machine comes with two wound bags and connectors about which we'll talk later. It comes with lower connections. It connects, comes with an ozone destroyer, which means the ozone which is not required by us will be destroyed by the machine, which is connected to a three-way stop cock. And so whatever ozone is generated will technically be continuously destroyed as Ozone in the air is a little difficult to breathe and rather a little toxic and causes a very pungent odor. Ozonic order they call it. So first we connect the ozone out to the ozone destroyer. Then we connect the oxygen in to a medical oxygen cylinder. We have to be very, very, very careful that the oxygen has to be 100% pure medical oxygen without humidification and the pipe that is used to connect the oxygen is a silicone pipe, not the conventional plastic pipe because ozone oxidizes the pipes producing phthalates which produce toxic compounds which are not compatible with the patient. For producing 40 to 60 micrograms concentration of ozone, we need only one fourth to one sixth or one eighth liter of oxygen per minute. They are special calibrated dry uh, oxygen controllers which will give you precisely the amount you want. Once you switch on the machine, the red light indicates that the oxygen is flowing in and the green light indicates that the ozone is flowing out. We have now adjusted it at a switch at four, one fourth of a liter a minute which will give a 60 mix, 60 micrograms concentration of ozone. Once we change the stopcock towards the syringe and wait, the generated ozone will gradually be filled in the syringe. As you can see, the syringe is being filled. Once we get the desired quantity of ozone in the syringe, we close the syringe. The syringe is taken out. And we are testing it, I'm smelling it. Yes, it is a very pungent ozonic smell. And I'm not actually able to breathe it fully. So ozone, when the nascent oxygen comes, it is very irritating. It is good for tissues. It is good for intra-articular injections. It's good for wounds which need bagging. It needs excellent for very bad infected wounds and there we can use the bags with special connectors given where we clamp the connectors and use the silicone bags and uh, inject ozone into the bag by locking these connectors into which the lower lock goes and the pipe goes in. To start the machine, we put the power, we switch on the machine, we adjust the level where it has to go, then we connect the oxygen and increase the oxygen volume to one fourth, one eighth, one twelfth of a liter, connect the syringe. Now, the moment we move the 
free way, the ozone that is being destroyed is now going into the syringe. It takes some time for the pressure to build up and gradually the syringe will expand depending on the concentration of the ozone that is being produced. We do not want high concentrations like 130 micrograms or 140 micrograms. For orthopedic applications, 40 to 80 micrograms of ozone concentration is uh, advised and desired. This ozone now can be injected dry into the joint for knee arthritis, shoulder stiffness, and other joint arthritis or can be injected into blood, injected into albumin, injected into a lot of solutions in glass bottles, and the same can be transfused to the patient for the benefits of ozone therapy. You can see the amount of bubbles that the ozone is producing as the nascent oxygen is coming out of the water. Those of you who have attended the ozone course conducted recently you would have understood and we can see that one fourth to one eighth liters per minute of oxygen is ideal for the concentration that we require for our applications. The machine we had only 12 and all of them have gone to the surgeons who want to who start ozone therapy. However, we are in the process of importing more machines. And those of you who are interested in getting the machine can please personally message me and we should be able to arrange them for you in the coming months. This was only a short demo for the surgeons who had actually purchased the machine. And this is being uploaded on the net for their use. Uh, in the subsequent lecture, we shall be showing you how and uh, in what manner are the bags used for ozonizing bag wounds. Thank you.